This cow was the favourite cow of Fidel Castro, the late dictator of Cuba. She was treated like a queen and was adored by the nation. Hi, Zach Mills here. Fidel Castro is most well known for his role in the Cuban Missile Crisis and creating a communist revolution in Cuba. But even though his favourite thing in the world was communism, dairy was a close second for him. He was once said to finish off a lunch with 18 scoops of ice cream, and because of his dairy needs, he started a dairy revolution. At the time of Fidel Castro becoming Prime Minister of Cuba in 1959, all the ice cream in Cuba was imported from capitalist America, which Fidel Castro didn't like, being a communist. So he built a giant ice cream parlour in Havana, the capital of Cuba. It could facilitate a thousand people and had many more ice cream flavours than America. So overall it was quite successful. Now Cuba had loads of dairy goods, but no source of dairy, as the only cows in Cuba were zebus from India, and Las Renas from Spain, which have a high tolerance for heat, but don't produce much milk. So Castro imported thousands of Holsteins from Canada. These are a breed which produce lots of milk, but they couldn't survive in the heat of Cuba. So Castro decided to get scientists and farmers to breed a hybrid of Zebus and Holstein to create a cow that is both heat resistant and milk producing. It would be the perfect Cuban cow. This took lots of science and testing, and thousands of dairy cattle perished each year, but there was one success. This one success was Ubre Blanca. Her name means white udder, and she was a Zebu Holstein hybrid who met all the criteria for the desired super cow. She was producing 110 litres of milk a day at her peak. That's four times the average cow. This broke the record the Americans previously had, which Fidel Castro viewed as another win for communism. Ubre Blanca's story doesn't end there, as she continued to be a symbol of national pride and would have daily updates in the Communist Party's newspaper. Fidel Castro wasn't even the only leader who had a pet cow. William Howard Taft, the 27th President of the United States, had a cow named Pauline Wayne, who grazed on the lawn of the White House. She didn't have a life close to the luxury of Ubre Blanca, though. Ubre lived in an air-conditioned stable with constant care from specialist handlers and armed guards protecting her at all times. She'd also have important figures visit her often and would have soothing music played to her at her four daily milkings. Ubre Blanca died in 1985 at the age of 13 but her legacy was continued. She was given full military honours and her actual body was stuffed and put on permanent display at the National Capital Centre near Havana. Also, Castro ordered a statue of marble to be built in her hometown. After Ubre's death, none of her children were anywhere near as successful as her and any attempts to clone her in 2002 didn't succeed. So the government realised super cows weren't working, so they started a new programme. Castro now had the ridiculous idea to produce mini cows at a size small enough to keep in an apartment, yet productive enough to provide milk for a whole family. This obviously didn't succeed, otherwise we'd all have mini cows today. And overall, the only true success in Fidel Castro's dairy endeavours was Ubre Blanca, but she was definitely a big success and was definitely the most important cow in history. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.